I'm going to show you a really easy way to find out what the rating is for the Zeno diode if you're not sure you can get an approximate value now you do need a power source higher than the rating of the Zener diode so if you're really unsure of what it could be then you're just gonna have to keep trying higher power sources till, till this uh, process works but anyways I know this is below 9 volts so I'll just be using a 9 volt battery today now the negative side of the Zener diode is on the same side as the positive side of this capacitor because with Zener diodes you apply a positive side to the negative side of the diode and once it reaches a certain voltage it'll go through that diode and that's the voltage we're looking for so the negative side of the capacitor here is on the positive side of the diode and here I added a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the positive rail and then down here directly to the negative I added this little jumper cable and that completes this circuit here and here is a schematic there is the uh, 470 microfarad capacitor with the Zener diode now remember it's backwards from other diodes we're going to make it conduct this way uh, which is actually backwards it'll conduct the other way easier but we don't want that we want to test what it's going to conduct at going this way positive down this way and there's the protective resistor so there's the schematic and we'll be measuring the capacitor with the multimeter I'll show you that coming up next now we have the battery attached so we'll get a reading of the voltage of the capacitor and you can see it says 5.7 volts and it's going down because the capacitor is draining through the meter which is why I use a, a larger capacitor now the labeling says 5V6 so what that actually means is 5.6 volts uh, especially in other countries often they they use the symbol voltage or whatever as the decimal point so instead of 5.6 V it just says 5 V6 and that's because like with this wrapper you might not even notice a, a decimal point if they put one there and so uh, a lot of schematics and stuff if you see a 5 and then uh, a letter and a six or or other numbers then that's letting you know that that's where the decimal point goes now I swapped out that 5.6 volt Zener diode with another one and you'll see it's about 3.4 volts and in fact I'm using this 3.3 .3 volt so it says 3V3. Now I got one more to show you. I happen to have destroyed two Zener diodes while I was preparing this video. And now you see when I measure the voltage of the capacitor, it shows basically nothing. But if I go to uh, the source of the power, now you see it's 9.33 volts so the capacitor is not charging at all I fried this diode so now it conducts even backwards that should be a 3.3 volt diode but it's just letting everything go through and I did that to two of them uh, goofing around so I tried putting them backwards to measure some stuff and apparently that was too much current for them so right now all I can do is recommend that you use them in this direction with the negative towards the positive side of the power source like I did with the the last two that that are working just fine so to recap a little the Zener diode it's it's like the other diodes where it allows current to easily go through one way and it resists current going the other way 
but it's made to resist that that voltage only to a certain point and then once you hit that point it's made to let it go through that's why they're used in circuits when you want it to go through so like with this capacitor uh, let's say I'm using a 3.3 volt diode if I only want this capacitor to charge to 3.3 volts approximately then it'll charge until it gets up to 3.3 volts because it'll have an easier way to get into here than through the diode but once it gets to 3.3 volts so will the diode and then it will easily conduct and then so all of the current will go through here as long as this is at 3.3 volts if this one is rated at 3.3 volts now when you change the voltage and the resistance that can change how effective the the Zener diode is so it's it's not really perfect but this is close enough for our examples but that's why I wrote here when you're measuring with the multimeter that the results you get here on the display in voltages will be approximately what the Zener voltage is rated at because as I said if you change the resistance or increase the voltage it'll uh, make it so the diode uh, reacts differently so that's just something to be aware of but uh, all we're doing here is we want to get an approximation of what the Zener diode could be if you're not sure and uh, it's a good good test circuit just to do for experience anyways